Hey guys, Vince here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a scatter chart with Chart.js with multiple data sets as well as configuring the overall options for all the visuals. Let's begin. Alrighty, so to begin, let's just go ahead and do our normal HTML doc type. And then we're going to bring in the Bootstrap CDN. Now, Bootstrap isn't required for Chart.js, but we're just going to be using for some page styling here. And then we'll go ahead and bring in our Chart.js version 3.9.1 script as well as our scatterchart.js file because we're going to keep all the JavaScript in its own file. Then we're going to create a bootstrap row followed by a div with a column span of 10. And then we'll create a card inside of that. Inside of that card, of course, we'll have our card body. This is just, like I said, this is just all bootstrap stuff so far. And then for chart.js, the important part that we need is our canvas element. And we need to give an ID of whatever we want it to be. In this scenario, we're going to use my chart. Here in the docs, we can see the default config for a scatter chart. And inside of that, we're looking at the data. And so what we see here for the data set, it's actually looking for an array of objects that have X and Y coordinates for the chart. So let's go ahead and make that. So first thing we'll go ahead and do is create an empty array and we'll call it scatter data. And inside of that scatter data array, we're going to create an object with an X and Y value. And we'll go ahead and do that a few more times here. And to save you guys from typing it all out, I'm just going to go ahead and drop a whole block in here. All right, next we need to instantiate our chart. And doing that, we're going to basically create a new chart object and we're passing in the context. That context for that first parameter is basically the ID of whatever we called our chart here earlier. And let's go ahead and give it a type of scatter and then we'll create a data object. That data object is going to contain a few different things. It's going to contain an array of for our data sets. And that array of data sets is going to be an object. Inside of that object, we'll go ahead and give our data set a label. And then we'll go ahead and set the data with a value of our scatter data array that we created earlier. And then the next thing that we need to do is create a background color for that data set. And let, now let's go ahead and save and we should see, yeah, it's kind of hard to see here with how small those points are. So let's go ahead and uh, actually adjust the, the size of those points. So if we go into the scatter, we can see that we can change the options elements point for point element options. And then we have the radius of three. So for an individual data set, we can go ahead and set, just set the radius. Let's do radius 10, save. There we go, that's a lot easier to see. Next, let's go ahead and just add a second data set. So to save you guys from sitting here, watch me type all this, I went ahead and created a, a new array of objects of those X, Y coordinates and just called it scatter data two. And since we know that our data sets is an array of objects, we're just gonna copy that first one, paste it down in here. We'll call it data set two. We'll grab that scatter data two array that we created a moment ago. And then we'll go ahead and give this data set a different color. We'll save. And there we go. We've just added our second data set. Now let's say that we didn't want to have to write radius 10 on every single data set that we created. We can actually remove that. We'll save. We've got our small data points. And we see that in options elements point, we can set the, the global points for that chart. So we'll go and create our options. And inside of that, we'll make our elements. Inside of that object, we'll make our point object. And then, then we'll finally set the radius for all data sets to 10. We'll save. And then as you can see here, that's affecting every data set in here. So we don't have to write it multiple times. So I know I always say this, but the, the documentation here for Chart.js is, is absolutely fantastic. So let's say that we wanted to change the point style from circle we can see that we have cross, cross rot, dash, line, rect, rect rounded, etc. So let's go ahead and just set that point style to rect rot. We'll save, and we can see here that now we kind of have these rotated squares instead of instead of circles here. So that pretty much wraps it up with scatter charts with chart JS. I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, uh, please like the video. Comment down below if you're enjoying this style of tutorial, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.